Greetings metal community. You're wondering what is going on. Um, well, first of all, in the background, Hobbs, Angel of Death, Heaven, Bled. This has nothing to do with the topic that I'm talking about today, and that's Russian bootlegs. Uh, I've been planning to do this for a long, long time. Because I fucking hate Russian bootlegs, uh, I hate seeing them in collection updates and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a, a virus spreading in, in the metal community in a way, because uh, Russian bootlegs are pure theft are of you know, from bands and labels that have put a lot of money in uh, releasing this stuff back in the days or I mean there are Russian bootlegs of, of 2020 releases as well you know it's they are popping up everywhere and uh, now a, a very yeah starting to become a big problem um, and you know I have my share of Russian bootlegs uh, of course so uh, you know my mistake was not uh, you know I can use my excuse uh, because I didn't have good internet uh, like six years ago or something. I'm living kind of a little bit off grid, you know, when it comes to internet uh, reception. And now I have uh, great uh, internet, so I can double check and triple check stuff. Uh, but I did buy uh, most of my uh, bootlegs I bought through eBay, um, and you know, not being aware of the big problem that Russian bootlegs apparently is and um, yeah uh, ever since I got on the internet and double checked my you know categorizing my stuff on Discogs and just uh, realizing that I had fucking Russian boots in my collection was uh, yeah uh, pissed me off uh, as I said I fucking detest uh, this uh, stuff that I have in front of me here. I don't have a lot of them. I do think I have thrown away some uh, back when I, I categorized, uh, categorized my my uh, co collection into Discogs. Uh, or I might have still have somebody, someone sitting in the, in the shelves behind me. But uh, you know, as soon as I find them, if there are more left, I will surely enough uh, get rid of them. And yeah, I've been kind of saying this a lot in, in my comments to other videos. Uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna, well, I'm probably gonna preach about it and I'm point fingers and all that because uh, my metal heart um, is kind of bleeding over this uh, topic uh, because it's, it's fucking annoying to watch people um, showing Russian boots in, in collection updates. And, and be okay with it. It's kind of yeah, it's Russian boots, but I don't care. You know, and now I have it on physical format. But uh, to be honest, if you have a Russian boot, you haven't paid for the right to have that uh, album uh, in your collection. Um, Russian boots are thievery from bands and labels. Uh, every every penny or pound or dollar or whatever uh, goes straight into the pocket of, of the uh, yeah Russian bootleg mafia uh, and you know if you want to to throw your hard-earned money to to some fucker over there uh, who, who you know rips off uh, the whole world uh, be my guest I mean what you do with your money it's 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 your thing but I I, I just want people to start reflecting on it because this is a problem when it comes to newer releases. I mean, there are Russian bootlegs of newer releases as well, you know. They are popping up more and more. It's a, a increasing problem. Um, and you know, uh, as one, one of my trusted um, uh, commentators, uh, Pyface, said in a, in a comment that he was kind of uh, dreading that uh, Russian boots would take over the CD market. And you know, they are gradually eating their way into to it and um, it, it's kind of um, yeah it's is it's that important to have an album in a physical format that you will will you know not support the bands that you claim you love and and 
you know, metal, collecting metal is about support of the bands and, and labels. I mean, for most the bands, of course, but bands doesn't, does not make a lot of money on, on, on physical formats anyway, uh, but it will pay for studio time, it will pay for cover art, uh, it will enable them to go on tour. Uh, if people just buy Russian bootlegs, the company will not uh, sponsor any tour or anything uh, and it will gradually killing uh, the industry as a whole uh, in a way. And you can say I over dramatize this, yes I might do so, but uh, I just have seen a lot of, or not a lot, but, but there is a lot of people showing off Russian bootlegs on on the videos and, and just yeah shrugging us shrugging us shoulders like uh, it it doesn't matter you know it, it does matter and and if you if you love a band uh, by reissue they are a little bit more expensive yeah there's not physical formats available there are coming more and more reissues there are a lot of labels now that are reissuing stuff but of course with the pandemic pandemic and, and delays on everything it takes time. Um, I do have a couple of these that have been reissued. Uh, luckily, some have not, but I don't care because I don't want to have this shit in my collection anymore. Um, I can start off with... I'm going to show with them and talk a little bit about them. Um, um, Atrophy, Socialized Hate. This is a Russian boot. Um, I bought this from a label. And slash distro that do reissues so I thought it was legit when I bought it uh, two years ago or something and I was pretty pissed when I found out it wasn't he didn't state in you know the list that it was a Russian boot and yeah uh, he had some weak uh, apologies I haven't traded with him ever since I do buy the stuff that are released on his label because I'm not punishing the band but uh, I just made a statement to him that you know fuck off this is uh, now reissued on or being reissued in these days uh, by Massacre Records. So if you're looking for this album, it is on its way. Uh, at least three colored uh, vinyl versions. I don't know if there's a CD version. There should be, but I don't know. Um, so um, stop buying this shit, uh, Russian boot. Then I had one, this was a gamble, I was kind of 80% sure uh, it was a Russian boot, but uh, collectors come, uh, I am, you know, we are always looking for, you know, treasures and, and sometimes we hit and sometimes we miss and this was a miss for me. I bought it from a seller that didn't have much metal, so I thought that I was lucky, uh, I was not. Um, paid normal price for it. Uh, you know that sucks uh, it's uh, 20 euros down the drain but uh that's on me then i have these uh, two albums by apocalypse uh, i have you know found this in a uh, you know original vinyl for pretty cheap money and um actually have two vinyls of this uh, shit um and this has been reissued by uh, Dive Bomb Records uh, at one point. I don't know if they're more available of it, but uh, it has been reissued properly. And bought that straight away when I discovered that this was a Russian boot. And another one that... Uh, and most of these I just bought on eBay before my internet connection were... When it was crappy, so I didn't have... You know, I didn't have uh, any ways to double check them. The station, um, Signs of Life, uh, yeah, Russian Boot, uh, great album, but uh, you know, it's it's going to disappear now. And again, when I, I when I first got it, I thought it was legit, but uh, you know, when I got my stuff into Discogs, uh, I realized that no fucking way. And then I have these two beautiful albums by Pantera, uh, you know, I Am the Night and. Power Metal, actually a pretty good Power Metal album. Um, these are also some that I bought on eBay, I just thought it was cool. Um, they were cheap, but I was thinking that, you know, old Pantera, not very good. So I bought them and, you know, of course, Russian boots. Uh, fucking annoying, uh, I, hate, I hate these releases. 
um, and it will be very nice to get rid of them now. Uh, so, why do people buy Russian boots? Uh, well, as a collector, I, I want to have stuff on physical format. Uh, I think everybody who's collecting want, just want them to have in a physical format. But, but for me, as I said, you know, collecting is for me as well supports. Uh, supporting bands are the important part here and, and kind of recognizing their work. In a, in a proper way and, and stuff will be reissued at some point if it's good enough and if it's not good enough for a reissue you don't need it um, of course there are some uh, albums that are kind of uh, locked up legally if uh, somebody don't want to release the um, you know won't give away the rights for the albums and that sucks um, and, and that, that's fucking annoying but uh, you know, if a, if a band or a band member don't want to reissue their stuff, then I don't want to give you money either. So I definitely don't want to listen to that shit. So, uh, yeah, uh, point of this video in, in a way is to to get people to reflect a little bit about it. you know, have a discussion about it. Um, I'm totally anti Russian bootlegs um, because they are eating away on, on the small profit uh, for the, uh, you know, legitimate official releases or the labels. You know, some money will get back to the bands as well. Uh, but also, you know, it's important for labels to reissue stuff to kind of uh, help the economy for the labels as well. So they can use that money towards um, new bands and new releases. Uh, and yeah, for me, as a collector, and, and my metal heart is is kind of bleeding over this uh, problem. And I, I, I said, it's pretty annoying to watch people be like, they don't care if it's a Russian bootleg. If you don't care if it's a Russian bootleg or not, uh, then you really don't care about the band and the uh, release. Um, don't come and tell me that you love this band and, and you know, waving around a, a Russian bootleg. I mean, then, then you can go on YouTube and watch it for the same uh, purpose. The quality, yeah, it's good, but it's not fantastic. I mean, all, all the Russian bootlegs, um, and you know, how to discover Russian bootleg? Go go into Discogs. I don't know if you can see it, but but this kind of um, line between the the um, silver and and uh, the plastic. Every Russian bootlegs that I have seen has a lot of chips, meaning that the quality is not that good. Uh, somebody says that flimsy flimsy jewel cases are a sign of Russian bootleg. That is not a case. There's a lot of uh, replacement. Uh, uh, plastic covers that are flimsy so if a case broke and somebody put an original CD in a flimsy cover it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a rush it's a Russian bootleg so so do go into discogs and look at pictures there are pictures of the and very often uh, can I do just take this Pantera shit out and uh, very often the the texts or are, are misplaced on Russian bootlegs it's either way too low or way too high on the disc uh, very nice tell sign if it's a Russian bootleg uh, of course the quality of the disc um, and uh, also the booklets uh, picture qualities and um, also lyric uh, lyrics are being kind of misplaced on, on the on the lyric sheet are tell signs of, of Russian boots but uh, again I use Discogs because there's a lot of uh, pictures of the original stuff and, and you can compare them um, yeah and and uh, you know just kind of yeah to 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 take a a um, nuclear assault song you know stop wait and think uh, stop buying Russian bootlegs because it's it's stealing from the bands you supposedly love and, and want to support. It steals from the uh, you know official and, and the legit part of the music industry, and that will have you know um, 
side effects going on. Uh, you know, the more Russian bootlegs, the more are sold, the less money, you know, uh, goes into new releases, goes into, um, to uh, you know, touring and stuff like that. Uh, CDs are kind of the format that bands are making most money of compared to vinyl. Uh, so uh, legit uh, issues of of, um, of CDs are kind of the best way to support the band actually and so of course t-shirts uh, going to gigs but when it comes to the physical formats uh, vinyl they don't make much money of so selling vinyls but at least it, it pays for the you know studio time and, and you know pays for the uh, release itself so they don't kind of had to go to the bank and borrow money to to make stuff. I think also that uh, you had to kind of stop and, and, and just think about how you support metal and and, and you know the music you love. Uh, wait for reissues. Uh, a lot of reissues are coming still. Uh, you know they have a lot of great. Um, labels doing reissues uh, also the bigger uh, companies now have have discovered the value of reissuing and stuff uh, which is great um, i am kind of more toward vinyl now because you know that's pretty safe when it comes to bootleg and stuff like that but it's just uh, you know i, I understand there's a lot of people who, who like collecting cds and, and stuff like that but uh just wait i mean you can write to labels, you can write to bands, you can, I mean, do a little bit of a job to, to make your uh, favorite release that is not available available again, you know. J just don't take the easy way out and, and just buy a fucking, yeah, worthless bootleg. Um, and, uh, you know, just think about how you want to collect, how you want to... Um, support metal and support the bands you know just just think about it you know and 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 uh, reflect upon it because i see a lot of people that they don't care and that's wrong i really care about my music and my collection and i and i wanted to give back uh, directly or indirectly to the bands uh, and Russian bootlegs does not do any of that you know the bands won't see a single dime of a uh, Russian bootleg and I also think about you know if I was in a band you know releasing an album and then I see somebody waving it around uh, Russian bootlegs and say I love this album and it's great it's a Russian bootleg but I don't care I would be proper pissed about that and I know there's a lot of people out there who, you know, uh, people playing in bands or have played in bands that uh, are playing in bands themselves. And, and just think about it, you know, would you like somebody to steal your work that you have paid studio time for and uh, cover artists or whatever you have to pay to get it out? And then you release, you know, five, six years later, there's uh, people waving it around and and there's a guy and or several guys women over in russia you know just laughing their asses off because you have bought a, a shitty russian bootleg so uh yeah i don't think i'm gonna talk more about it we can talk in the comments below please comment about this topic because um, yeah for me it's a, an important one uh, i i yeah i mean um just reflect on your collection collecting and and please stop buying this shit because uh it's actually hurting the uh, the metal scene uh, directly so um and and stay tuned there will be some um, kind of a video of me burning this shit um i'm just burning it to to kind of get it out of my system uh, because you know as i said i fucking hate the russian bootlegs and I uh, hope, hope you will uh, join me in, uh, in stopping um, this industry uh, or contributing it to be less profitable. Uh, you know, kick them in the ass and say fuck off. Um, 
protect metal, protect the bands you love, the labels you love, uh, and you know, protect your own integrity. I mean, for fuck's sake, we are metal fans, and and metal fans are passionate. But if you you you're buying Russian boots, you're not that passionate uh, about it, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, every comment are welcome. You know. Positive, negative. I mean, let's just discuss this and um, stay tuned for some uh, burning. Uh, thank you for watching this. It was a bit too long. Uh, I don't know if I made my point clear. I might redo this uh, at one point. But uh, yeah, this was what I had on my mind right now. I was probably forgotten a lot that I was planning to say, but. Uh, Again, stay tuned for uh, the burning if you want to, and uh, thanks for watching, commenting, please comment on this, uh, let's have a discussion on this, um, it's important for me, uh, hopefully it's important for you as well, so, uh, be sure. Yeah, hope you can see well, I got it out of the plastic cases of course, and just... Uh, Throw them on air. No. Sorry for. Um, I do apologize to Mother Earth for this, but. Uh, yeah. Get this over and done with. It's pretty nice. Nice feeling. I'm not going to talk much. You can watch it burn. Pick up the camera, put it. Shake your hands. They didn't burn pretty well, but.
thank you for watching